Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, tomorrow that is 15th of Jan. I know many of you are having your TCS NQT. So this is the last video for TCS NQT preparation from our channel. Okay, till now we have discussed six coding questions on different different concepts that might be asked in the TCS NQT exam. And this I uh, in this video the concept I will be discussing is also an important concept for your last minute preparation. So I hope that I have covered all the concepts according to me that can be beneficial for you in the coming exam. So in this video also I am discussing one last coding question. So make sure that you watch this video till the end. I know the time might be less for your exam. Just uh, watch this video in 2x so that uh, you can get just the understanding of the concepts that I, that I am discussing in this video. So please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because uh, interview experiences also I will be covering in this particular channel so make sure you do not miss those updates. So let's quickly start this particular video. Okay, so guys the question here is given an n into n matrix and an integer x find the position of x in the matrix if it is present otherwise print element not found every row and column of the matrix is sorted in increasing order the designating algorithm should have linear time complexity. So what we are given, we are given an n into n matrix, okay, n into n square matrix and the in the square matrix how it is designed, if you will notice that the uh, row is also in the sorted order as well as the different different columns are also in the sorted order. So if you will take this example, so 10, 20, 30, 40, this row is also in increasing order and if you look at different different columns, so let's just look at first column, 10. 15, 27, 32. So this is also in increasing order. So what you have to do, you simply have to find a particular element inside this matrix. Let's just understand with a basic example. So this is an into n matrix that is given to us, 4 by 4 matrix. The target value is x is equal to 29. So you have to find the position of 29 inside this particular matrix. Okay. So see, uh, just the things that are, you, that are given are the row and column are in the increasing order. So uh, here you can see that is 29 present inside this matrix. So if you will look closely, so this is 29. So answer is yes, the 29 is present inside this matrix. And once you have found that, uh, found that position, you will have to print that position. Okay, that 29 is present at 2 comma 1 position. That is second row starting from 0 index and the first column starting from 0 index. But there might be a case where the target value that is in this case x is equal to 100. This particular thing, uh, this particular where uh, what you value is not present inside this matrix okay so inside the, in this you will have to print element not found so these are two examples so it is very simple just that you have to find the given element inside the matrix the first approach that you will be thinking in your mind okay what you will do you will simply iterate over the matrix and you will check for each of the element if that element is uh, is equal to the target element or not if it is so it means it is present and if it is not, then it is not present. But that approach will be done in the x uh, big O of n square complexity. But the catch here is that we have to design a solution which will be running in the linear complexity. Okay. If you will like go to every element and check, okay, this element is equal to target or not, then it will be done, done in big O of n square complexity. But, <coughs> but the same thing we have to do in the linear complexity and the things that we are given is that the row and column are in the sorted order. So let's just quickly move towards the approach part. We will see how the approach is working. Okay. Okay. So this is an input matrix. Uh, the rows are also in the increasing order and the columns are also in the increasing order and our target value is 29. We have to find the position of 29 in this matrix. If it is present, we will have to print the coordinates of that. If it is not present, we simply have to print that elements not present. So we have to do this in the linear order, not in the n square method. It is very simple. Just iterate over the array and check for each element that is n square approach, but we have to do in the linear approach. In that case, what we'll do? So what we'll do, we will take two pointers. One is the J, which will be pointing towards the column. Then is I that will be pointing towards the row. So we will begin our J and I with the last element of the first row. Okay. Last element of the first row, this element. That is j is equal to j n minus 1, i is equal to 0. So we will point i and j to the last element of the first row. Okay, this thing is clear. Now what we'll do, we will check whether r, we know that these columns, are, these rows are also in the increasing order 
and it will talk about this column this is also in the increasing order this thing we know now we will check whether our current element that is 40 is it equal to 29 no it is not equal to 29 then we will check two things if the current element is either greater than target or is either less than target so if so 29 target is 29 and we are having current value is 40 so it means that the current value is greater than the target so so it means that the target is less than the current element so uh, and we know that this row is in the sorted order so if this is the case then what we'll do we will move towards the lower sides okay where we can find the possible lower answer because current element is within target so if target is present inside the matrix then we will have to move towards the lower part of that matrix okay where lower elements are present so currently we are 40 and the target is less than 40 so what we'll do we'll move towards the lower part so what we'll do we'll do j minus minus we'll simply go here okay we'll do simply we'll simply go here okay that j minus minus we have done if the current element is greater than the target now what is the current element so current element is 30 because i is pointing to 0 and j is pointing to n minus 2 so current element is 30 again we will check whether our current element is greater than target or is it less than target so current element is 30 so and target is 29 so it means that current element is greater than the target so again we will move towards the lower part of the matrix where lower levels are present and where the lower levels are present it is present on the left of j because from starting from j equal to 0 till j equal to n it is an increasing order so we will move towards the earlier we were 30 so we will move towards the lower positions or lower numbers we will have to move j towards the left side okay now the current element is 20 okay now we know that okay current element is 20 and target is 29 so it means that the target is now greater than the current element and where are the greater elements present greater elements are present towards the lower side of the matrix lower side of the matrix because the columns are also sort, sorted in increasing order 20 25 29 33 so it means that okay current element is smaller than target so we have to move towards the higher elements to move towards the higher element we will move i now we will do i plus plus we will move towards the next row because we know that at down downside of the matrix the greater elements are present okay now the current element is 25 now we will check okay so is 25 less than 29 or it is greater than 29 so it is less than 29 so again you have to move towards the higher numbers higher numbers are present to the below of the matrix so below of the matrix we will go so it is now i plus plus we will do now the current element is 29 and yes target is also 29 so we have found the element we will simply print the position of i and j so i is 2 j is 1 so 2 comma 1 will print we have found the element so i hope this thing is clear to you now even if this thing is not clear to you let's let just now find out 100 that is the next test case again what we'll do we'll start with this i is i and j will start with the last uh, last element of the first row 40 and we have to find 100 so 40 is less than 100 so what we'll do to move towards the larger elements we will move i towards the below we will do i plus plus now 45 100 is again greater than 45 so we will have to move towards the larger values larger values for moving towards the larger value we move i we will do i plus plus so we will do i plus plus again 48 current element so 48 is again less than 100 so again we have to move towards the large element we will move i plus plus okay then again 50 is also 50 is also what we will say it is less than 100 so again we will move towards the higher number higher numbers and we will do i plus plus so once we are done done i plus plus our matrix is over so till even so i has become great uh equivalent to n now okay and j is still there so if any of the element any of the variables if i becomes equivalent to n then we will break or j becomes less than zero because currently j equal to n minus one if this j goes 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 and becomes less than zero then also we will break so either of the conditions if either of the conditions are true we will have to break if i becomes equal to n or j becomes less than zero we will have to break in that case we have not found the element this approach is known as the staircase method of finding the element inside a sorted matrix okay i hope this approach is clear to you now let us quickly move towards the coding part of this particular question okay so guys for saving time i have already written the code let's just read line by line okay so first of all n is the number of rows and number of columns present because it is a square matrix so number of rows and columns are same 
then we are doing input of n then we are declaring a variable bool found is equal to false because we have to check whether we have able to found the element or not it will be used later then we have declared the 2d array then we have taken the target value that the element that we need to find so these loops are for taking the input for the array okay i have written the code in c++ then we are doing c in target that is the element that we need to find if we have if we are able to find the element then what we will do we will simply <laughs> print the coordinates or i or j position and if you are not able to find the element we will print element not found then i told you that <laughs> we will begin our search from the last element of the first row so it will be j is equal to n minus 1 and i will be 0 then we will be iterating over the array in this staircase manner and i have told you what will be the break condition if either of the conditions is success uh, is uh, like uh, is false that is we have to iterate while our j is greater than equal to 0 till that point we have to iterate and if our i is less than n so if within the boundaries we have to iterate if any of these conditions conditions becomes false it means we have to break out of the loop it means that the element is not found then in, once we are inside the loop if the current element is equal to the target we will simply print out the coordinates okay and we will print found is equal to true that we have found the element and we will break from the loop uh, in the other case if our current element is greater than the target then we will move towards the lower part of the matrix lower part in the sense that where the uh, small elements will be present so that will be a column uh, behind one so we will do j minus minus in that case if we have to move towards the smaller elements else is the case where our current element is less than target in that case we have to move towards the bigger elements and for moving towards the bigger element we will do i plus plus that is toward moving towards the next row because the elements are in the sorted order in rows as well as in the columns so by this we will be iterating over the array and if our found variable uh, is true then we will not print anything if our found variable after iterating over the array is still false as we have initialized it then we, it means that element is not found and we'll simply have to print not found so this is the entire code that we, uh, that you have to write for staircase pattern let's just see with the help of a, uh, an example so we have taken a matrix of 3 into 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 these are the inputs input should be in the increasing order and 10 is the element that we are trying to find <laughs> so in this case element not found should be printed <coughs> so let's see so yeah not found is printed if we will like let's just suppose we have to find 9 so in this case 2 comma 2 should be printed that are the coordinates starting from 0 index so 2 comma 2 should be printed so yeah 2 and 2 is printed so this is how you will have to write the code in your exam this will pass all the test cases that will be given to you so i hope you have liked the video and do hit that subscribe button because a lot of interview experiences will also be posted on this channel so make sure that you are present on this channel and you do not miss any of these updates thank you for watching this video